Chaos Constructed mode has been out for about a day now. It's Gods Unchained's first alternate game mode. I think there might have been a few things way back in the day, but it's been years since we had anything other than the ranked queue and the casual queue. Well, here it is. Now we have Chaos Constructed. I was able to do a short stream this morning to check it out. It has been a busy day, so I didn't go full degen. But after my first few hours, I'm really excited about the new game mode. Many people have mentioned that the alternative mode could use more rewards, and that's certainly true. We can talk about that in a second. But overall, I just think having alternative formats and just a wacky queue for different game experiences outside of the main meta is a really good thing for the game. I think a lot of what people complain about in Gods Unchained is the sense of a stale gameplay experience. The same matchups, the same ranked queue, the same annoying ranking system where it feels like you're always deranking and never ranking up no matter how much you win. It's just easy to get frustrated about stuff in a game like Gods Unchained. Frankly, any TCG can get frustrating. Usually if you're not winning, then you're kind of frustrated. Like it's either winning and feeling good or else being pissed and losing and trying to get back to winning. So having a more casual alternative gameplay mode which is currently Chaos Constructed and which is going to rotate into other modes. In my opinion, it's a huge win for Gods Unchained. It's good for everybody. It's going to make the game bigger. Now, I will say, as of right now, there's basically no rewards for playing the alternative mode, so Chaos Constructed and whatever comes next. It appears that it's supposed to give you Flux, which is the virtual currency you can use mainly for forging shinier cards in the forge, but... It doesn't even seem like that's working, like you're not even getting around the flux wheel. At a minimum, it really does need to work for flux, because you just need to feel like you're getting something for playing. Even if it's just like a virtual currency, like it doesn't have to be anything with any financial value, but you just want to feel like you're unlocking some kind of thing when you're playing your first couple hours of the game in any given day. That's just sort of a feeling that you, you have. Um, but I think they should take it a step further, not only giving Flux, but also at least let the Chaos Constructed and other game modes count towards your daily play and earn, your first 10 games that determine how many gods tokens you win in any given day. I think the alternative mode queue should also count for that. That way you don't feel like you're missing out. It, it, it kind of... It gets a little bit in the way of the fun of trying a new game mode when you feel like you are having an opportunity cost because you could be playing in the regular ranked queue and you haven't done your first 10 games yet or because the flux wheel is not even working for the mode right now. Maybe you don't even have all your flux. Like I really need to get more flux right now, not just because my name's flux, but because I want to forge more cards. I actually need it. And so that's like a, a little bit of FOMO for me when I'm playing Chaos Constructed. It's like, okay, but where is my flux points? And, you know, what about my 10 play and earn games? Today I was only able to do a three-hour stream. It was a shorter stream by my standards. And I didn't get to do 10 games in the ranked queue, but I might have if I hadn't played Chaos Constructed. So that feeling of missing out on rewards, that opportunity cost is an issue. And I do think they need to think about that. I know they can't just throw... You know, some people would love to get, like, I don't know, booster packs and more gods tokens and bonus, bonus, bonus. But they got to be careful. It is a free mode. There's no entry fee. So rewards will realistically not be too insane. But at least we should get Flux and our daily play-to-earn rewards from playing Chaos Constructed. Now, with all that said, I took the first day of Chaos Constructed to try to play the Raise Dead Enlightenment combo discarding nine drop creatures from my hand and resummoning them from the void using raised dead so you can get things like polyhymnia on turn five or echo fawn on turn five uh, uh uh what is it like unacceptable monstrosity on turn five like all these crazy nine drop stat bombs and i'm going to show you a few highlight matches the deck was evolving as we played so the the, the game one deck had made Mark and Burrowed Scarab. I took both of those out because I felt like the draw was actually enough as it was. Just really going completely all in on the Enlightenment combo and having the right nine drops and eight drops to really take advantage of it. It's a really cool deck. So here are some highlights from day one of Chaos Constructed. Loving this new mode. All right, guys. Game number one, Chaos Constructed mode. My first time ever playing Chaos Constructed. No domain limits, so I can build with every card in the game. I can put deception cards with war cards, with magic cards, with nature cards. 
I don't know if we have all six gods represented in this deck, but I think we might. We definitely got a nature card. We're using deception GP. We got death cards. We got a light card. We got a war card. I think we got everything. I think we got all six. I should really be playing aggro first, but I'm going right into the wacky combo deck. All right, well, let's see what happens. If I can just pull off this enlightenment combo immediately, I'll be so happy. I'll be so fucking happy. If I can just pull this off. Okay, they're mana ramping. Which is fine by me. Do I just play the Scarab? Here, let's see what I draw. They played Ruined Asp, so they're ramping mana. So we got the Anvil. I just need to draw Enlightenment. Scarab or Flip? What's up, Otis? I think... I mean, I'm giving them tons of draws. I could just flip and go looking for Enlightenment that way. I could also just Tracking Bolt and kill their dude, but like 100% of this is I need to find Enlightenment. I have not found Enlightenment yet. I don't even know if we need Scarab and Maid Mark. We can just flip instead, right? Like maybe the draw cards aren't actually... Now I'm having second thoughts about those cards even fitting in the deck. All right, we have two Tracking Bolts. I'll send one back. I think we need the nine drops in hand so I can discard them with enlightenment. So we keep these in my hand and pass it back. This is so crazy. This is actually super cool. Just at a glance, like doing this right away. Just uh, the different game mode having different, you know, this is not a thing that's possible, but now we're doing it. I drew Scarab again. Okay. This is actually kind of sick. Yeah, I just need to find enlightenment. I need to find enlightenment. Come on, enlightenment. Why you gotta be like that, bro? Yeah, maybe Scarab and Maid Mark don't even actually have to go in this deck. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what to send back. Send back. I don't know. Scryer could be good. I don't need all this removal. They conceded because they're bored. Shit. Did they get bored? I was thinking, bro. Take out the Scarabs, take out the Maid Marks, and we're going to add some 7 drops just so we have more meat in this deck because there's going to be a lot of super duper removal. <sighs> Let's see if I can get the combo before turn 8. Alright, it's Constantin. Uh, Constantin. Let's see if I can do it. <coughs> They're playing Death. I have a good feeling. The Scepter's okay. Not a Cat Lover. Not the Shadow of Lethanon, no. Hey, I drew it from a top deck. Okay. Next turn, we can play it. I can look for a second 9-drop. Okay. That's fine. That's all good. Okay. Oh my god, double enlightenment. So, one at a time. We have everything we need. Play enlightenment. Discard the Anvil, and I guess Therial. And then give me... I mean, I already have Raise Dead. So give me a second Raise Dead. Where is it? It was on top of the deck anyway. And then give me... Polyhymnia. It takes a while to think about everything, but all right. So I think that's that. And next turn, we do this. We'll see how it works against Constantin's deck. He's running aggro. My headphones are so loud. Oh my god. I turned it down like multiple times. They're still so loud. Alright, so we're down to 18. He has a lot of stuff. But we have the anvil. Is that going to be enough? The anvil isn't necessarily ideal for this spot. But I guess we'll have to use it. I think they're going to be able to trade into it. We really need a Polyhymnia for this board. I could just Enlighten again, but then I might just die. I don't know. The Anvil is not going to be enough. I need Polyhymnia. What's going to happen is we're going to get Polyhymnia next turn. And... I'm out of time. They're going to just use Ray of Disintegration. Is it GG? It's too late. God damn it, it's too late. He just said GG. Alright, that sucks. If I got the anvil, I don't know if I would have survived in their turn. Like, I might have, but it wasn't going to work either way. 
Just add some cheap draw, whatever. I just like try to make it even more consistent. The whole point is the enlightenment combo. That's like literally the whole point. Oh yeah, there's tons of room to tune it up. Like tons, tons, tons. Tons of room for tuning up. All right, I think this one could be the one. Yeah, they do have shadow though. Good thing I top deck tracking bolt. Because I am good at the game. I'm good at the game, so I top deck Tracking Bolt. You can finally rent Avatar of Magic. Oh, did you get a higher rental limit, Slivka? That's awesome. Good to hear. Yeah, I'm really enjoying my rental. I even pulled Raise, uh, raise Dead immediately. Okay. So, Enlightenment. Discard these. Get the... Okay, so we already have Raise Dead. We can get a second Raise Dead. We're gonna need to hopefully be able to do this again because they can hide my first creature. They can keep hiding Helion Elite. So we're not completely out of the woods yet, but it is the immediate combo, double raise dead. So it's pretty sick. Nice Marsh Walker. Yeah, they're playing aggro, but luckily they're not like insanely fast or anything. So we're gonna resurrect the monstrosity. Resurrect the monstrosity. See, this is how it's supposed to work. No roar. No crazy effects, just frontline, big stats. That's the deal. Are they gonna concede immediately? Okay, they conceded immediately. They didn't even bother hiding it and continuing to attack, which is a little disappointing, but there you go. Can we get enlightened? Okay, might just die to aggro. Okay, Brimstone, is this War Anubians? I heard War Anubians was fucking brutal. This might be that. If it's that, then we might be screwed. I also might not draw enlightenment. Okay, never mind. We do draw enlightenment. We can pip it out. Well, let's see what happens. This might work. I mean, double raise dead. Raise dead number one, raise dead number two. All right, that was lucky. See, as long as we draw it, it's great. This deck actually potentially could be okay. You know, we just got to actually draw it and have the right stuff in the deck. Echo Fawn is pretty good here. Echo Fawn is pretty good. Let's go. Raise the dead, grab Echo Fawn. Immediately kill their warden. Get demo back. I didn't even think about that. We get demo back because it's warden. Let's go, dude. They use the Warden, so we also get Demo back. I didn't even think about that. Oh, man. Okay, they're using direct damage on Demo. They're not hitting face. That's so good. That's so good. That's so good. We just avoided five damage to face or more because they also can't GP. Dude, that's so good. Now I can raise dead and bring Demo back again. Oh, my God. Because clearly they don't want that to be on the board. Oh, my God. Sheep them again. Oh, let's go. Let's go. We're doing this. Can you out aggro me? I'm not sure if I win yet, though. Okay, Ragnarok is legit. Recovering Sigil. Okay. Double Sigil. Okay. Convenient. They only, I mean, okay, they have three cards in their hand. It's all draw. It's a lot of draw. Two can play at that game. I would destroy the Scryer just to get rid of their ward, but I don't have enough mana. I guess it wouldn't really matter anyway. Let's draw. Flip. We no longer need nine drops in our hand. Seven drops we'll get to pretty soon. We probably don't need Ray of Disintegration, honestly. But yeah, we'll take the heal. We'll take the heal. We'll do a little less damage, get the heal. I could have not healed and just done three more damage to face, but yeah, Echo Fawn is healing back the damage. The burn does nothing. The burn does let them kill Demo. We get three more heal off of Perseverance. They're healing too. The thing is, I have overkill, so these zombies don't matter to Echo Fawn. We have overkill. Yo, my deck totally works now. This is actually at least somewhat viable. You're going to have to high roll into your combo. Otherwise, you're just going to die, probably. Against aggro, you're just going to die if you don't high roll. But uh, it is it is a million percent 
They have protection. That's kind of annoying. We can use the imp as well. Protection will just die on the second hit. It's fine. Yeah. Then we hit this and they take the damage again. I could have used Archer to just kill it and they would have taken even more damage this turn, I guess. But whatever, take the draw. Let's just go in. I think we got him, honestly. Okay, Barrage is cool. I'm just full tempo. I think we win. And this deck actually works now. This deck actually makes sense. Hey, Hugo, GM. Yeah, it looks like a GG. Almost. I guess it's not over yet. Okay, we're not able to play that, so send that back. Next turn, Hortuck. I guess I'll destroy one of these barrels. Just to make room for next turn to play at least Hortuck. I don't think we're going to need it. I mean, maybe I shouldn't have done that. I'm just damaging myself. I don't think they can win here, though. All right, GG. That was cool. So I just beat an aggro deck. I thought I was too greedy to beat aggro decks, but at least with a high roll, I just beat an aggro deck. No problem. There we go.